So we're here with um, the other video that I was <laughs> talking about in the previous video. And it's another very short case study of using word magic to uh, get energy going up into network. What am I talking about here? Really briefly, somebody said all the network is this and everybody sends signals. If your senses are really advanced, if you are high energy, if you come into any situation highly balanced, high energy, like the Buddha, noticing the whole of it and the deepness of it in its essence, uh, you will be able to gather attention and affection from network. People will reward you for um, your for spreading for spreading good vibes, for pacifying nasty, angry situations, and for um, finding the useful diamonds in the crap, for finding the fertilizer in the shit that would make lotus flowers. So if you can turn people's shit into flowers properly, if you yourself are a fertile seed for growth and relaxation and understanding and evolution, network will reward you. People will reward you or in some sense network will reward you in some way. So to exemplify this, uh, I'll, I'll do this short case study. Um, in a group online, somebody posts about Okay, does this thing help with erection problems, right? This molecule, this psychedelic, whatever, does it help with erection problems because I have this and this thing, it's stress-based. Um, my doctor said it's, um, it, it, there's nothing wrong with me physically, right? So the blood vessels are okay, they, I haven't been hit in my penis or hip area or anything, there's no blood circulation issues. So it's probably stress-based, anxiety-based. I read the guy's post <clears throat> and I see that, yes, they are putting excessive pressure on themselves, pressure to succeed, uh, tension, and this is not a way to have fun and, and get a nice proper lasting erection, nor the 30-minute orgasms like Piggy and I are capable of having, because I'm a pig. <laughs> Under construction, last part. Anyway, what I'm saying is that uh, I told the guy, uh, hey, you need to relax, you need like this, like that, and um, um, I, I don't remember the exact thing, maybe I could go search for it, but that's not so important, but the thing is, um, he said, oh, this girlfriend made this, and this girlfriend did that, and then they said something that's like, sometimes it is hard when you care about someone, and he said it like with this sense, here, I made this image after the situation, ooh, how do I, how do I show... I hope this is all visible. No, it's not. Okay. So we are here. Sometimes it's hard when you care about someone. Sad face, right? And I read it as this, but then immediately it spoke to me in the secondary sense, the metaphorical Shakespearean sense, which is the uh, psychedelic tripper stuff as well. Like, like the, this is the direct meaning of something, and this is the metaphorical meaning of something. Uh, sometimes it is hard when you care about someone. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's hard when you care about someone. It, like, maybe you get me hard. Like, um, wow, um, it's, it's a pretty good thing. Like, you see what I'm saying here? So this, the red approach to life, the metaphorical approach, this is what I consider to be at least one aspect of magic. The <clears throat> twist of the phrase, the artful use of, of skillful means, the... So, not everybody gets this secondary meaning. You see what I'm saying? Not everybody gets it. Everybody gets this first meaning. Every drunk can, can get what this means. Yeah, sometimes it's hard. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, it's hard. Things are hard. Oh, it's so hard. But like, <laughs> this is the magical meaning. This is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the peacock meaning of life. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> oh, I'm so hard for you. Uh, so, anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, as I said before, network rewards you. So I said, uh, hey, I can help you with these um, uh, issues, which are basically, they're not erection problems, they're like stress problems and putting undue stress on oneself problems. Um, and, yeah, and, and I said, okay, I can help you with this, private message me, um, yeah, we can 
we can talk. And he said, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll PM you. And then I just helped the guy out with uh, a nice session, um, basically explained how it's like you don't need to perform to do this thing every time with the erection and the intercourse and the sex and the orgasm. It's too much pressure if you think about it like that. You can do just spend time naked, spend quality time naked, massage, use massage oil, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, just relax, man. Play. Uh, goof off, right? Less pressure. Take it easy. Chill, man. Be chill. <laughs> Smoke a joint. <laughs> Chillax. And of course, um, as is probably my, may have noticed, my usual uh, interaction I asked, do you drink alcohol and do you smoke cigarettes? And he said yes. So, um, it was like occasionally, not, not a yes, a smoker and drinker, but occasionally, like on weekend, occasional heavy drinking. So it was, in my opinion, slowly building up to be a problem. Maybe next year or two years or three years, it would have been something like uh, this thing being used over and over, this pathway here, and you can think of these as neurological pathways, by the way, in the brain. This pathway, the blue pathway, would have been used, oh man, it's so hard, and then drinking because it's so hard, right, uh, because difficult, let's say difficult, <laughs> because it's so hard. Drinking alcohol because it's so difficult, alcohol then fuels more erection problems, which it does, absolutely, and smoking too, because it, it decreases one's ability to uh, deal with uh, anxiety and nervousness, and... <clears throat> And basically, this blue thing would have built up a process that gets more blue. Because alcohol drinkers and cigarettes, in my experience, are, tend to have more of these simple interpretations, negative interpretations about life. The brain gets more depleted. It cannot make these long metaphorical things because these are more expensive to make by the brain. They need more nutrients and more uh, neurotransmitters, and it's a different thing. They can make it, you can make them if you're well nourished, but not so well if you're living on chips and beer and alcohol. Um, and what I'm saying is, um, I made a nice session. I said, I offered my standard deal, pay me something at the end of it if it helps you. It was like, can I think about it? Yeah, sure. And I just fired off my um, free advice, like, what what I can say about the situations as is. So I basically fired some good signals on faith. It wasn't, I didn't even have a yes, I'll pay you back if you help me. It was just like, hey, let's sh shoot the shit, uh, talk like two dudes here, um, just relax, do this, do that, some advice about, uh, which I need myself sometimes. If it's a hot girl, our brain tends to sometimes get stupid. It's just, you watch a hot nice attractive female you you start to drool it's it's <laughs> it's just like your brain shuts down and your cucumber friend just wakes up and it eats up a lot of blood so yeah um wasn't that short of a case study maybe a bit of rambling i'm sorry for that it is what it is um but i wanted to share how this works how i get some clients and how i turn uh, random posts into um at least early on business opportunities and I wanted to share about this Shakespearean uh, read of the situation. I, I get this a lot, and I think it's a psychedelic tripper thing. We see this more and we hear this more, the deeper meaning of what people say. Um, I think that's it for this case study. So, so I'm, I'm saying listen for what's behind the words, not just the... the dumb down direct meaning this is every moron can get this this is this is not where people thrive and shine this is where communication thrives and shines when you can get the extra energy there when, when you can basically find people that get your jokes even if you yourself don't get the jokes yet right so if you can show this to people if you have a strong side like this in your head a strong humor strong Met metaphors, symbols, playfulness, and you can share this with people, people will want to spend time with you. Because life gets like this, and this is unpleasant. Living like this is unpleasant. A job like this is unpleasant. 
a husband or wife like this is unpleasant. If you can be this person, if you can refuel in a network sense, if you can, um, if you're, if you can, if you're the red guy, and again, I'm, I'm going to this guy and I'm making these associations in real time. <clears throat> if you can be the red guy in a situation, the, the, the funny guy, the, the uh, loose, you know, the, the chill out loose guy, where when everybody gets tense, <clears throat> I'd say this is the blue guy, at least for this situation. So if you can be the red guy to this blue guy, and and if he wants to red up, again, that's on him, it's not on me. But if he wants to red up and you're the red guy, uh, he'll want to hang out with you. To, so you can teach him his red. That's it. Um, yeah. So I've done a couple of videos and now I feel much better. I'm probably going to head out and meditate and charge up for more adventures. There is more I wanted to say. More video stuff to share. But time is limited and... You know, adventures are endless. Until next time. <laughs>